Ladies and gentlemen, I can say this, both WWE and AEW are screwed. So I'm gonna pull up a tweet and it says that CM Punk, Brian Danielson, Roman Reigns, Kenny Omega, Adam Cole, Cody Rhodes, Sasha Banks, Naomi, and Charlotte are currently inactive. Whether it's because of time off, injury, or other situations, it seems that a lot of major players in their each perspective part in their wrestling company are gone. They're not gonna be here for a while and it's so Mostly for the WWE because AEW at least has a couple of you know bright prospects that they have you know John Moxley, Wardlow, Miro's return. For what I know, I think Adam Page is still there. He's just kind of like depressed because he lost, but he's still there. There's at least still a core you know member of the main event roster that AEW has that I'm pretty sure the AEW fan base still appreciates. While for the WWE, it's slim pickings to be honest. What do we have? Drew McIntyre, Seth. Rollins, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Asuka, Sami Zayn if I guess so if you want entertainment to be a part of it. Like there isn't that much believability that any of these like roster you know members have to carry that company someone like a Roman Reigns or even a Cody Rhodes. Like Cody Rhodes was supposed to be that guy because Roman Reigns was probably gonna leave the WWE in a couple of months and now he's injured and, you know and also shout out to Cody Rhodes I just saw Hell in a Cell and Jesus Christ this guy tore a pick pictorial muscle and he's over there wrestling hell in a cell with seth rollins i don't care if you hate cody rhodes love cody rhodes indifferent but you have to give this guy some respect because i know there's a lot of wrestlers fans normal people that wouldn't have done what he does i feel like now that he's finally being liked and now that he's that guy the fact that he suddenly got injured probably broke his heart and was like you know what i'm going in the match whatever whatever's the cost you know if i get more injured that's on me that's probably what he told Vince McMahon or something like that so shout out to Cody Rhodes but back to the real point of this video both AEW and WWE are kind of screwed with their like roster you know not AEW for the most part just as it sucks that CM Punk and Brian Danielson got injured and we have to wait for Kenny Omega and Adam Cole you know but they can deal without that the WWE are in trouble I I because their their programs are going to be such boring what are we going to rely on the Usos fighting Riddle you know all also, Randy Orton's injured. I forgot about that. He's injured. Probably isn't going to show up until, what, SummerSlam? And I'm going to do a little discussion later on in a video where I talk about the women's division, but the women's division is suffering heavily in WWE right now. Sasha Banks and Naomi, who were, like, they had this big thing in WrestleMania now left. Charlotte's over there finishing up her, like, time off that she got because she, you know, lost to Ronda Rousey and she apparently broke her arm. I don't even know when Bayley's going to be able to arrive back wrestling at a full-time schedule she's still out i don't know there isn't that much besides like becky lynch oscar bianca ronda rousey i guess but even then people aren't a big fan of or they're kind of like forced to like her the majority of people are kind of bored with her and oh wow she's gonna face natalia and that's gonna bring up the ratings not like we haven't seen that match before and it's not even the women's roster it's also the men's roster right now like because they were building up roman reigns so much who do they have now like seth rollins is there but he's finishing up his cody stuff and now cody's injured what's he gonna do what's gonna happen with kevin owens because he's still feuding with ezekiel aka the best wrestler in the world right now Sami Zayn's over there acting delusional that he's like a member of the bloodline or something even though he probably is a part of the bloodline but it's like so weird like who are we gonna rely on mad cat moss i bet vince mcmahon is furious at nick Khan for releasing all these superstars like cesaro brian danielson you know the fiend Bray Wyatt I heard stuff that Bray Wyatt was gonna be in hell in a cell he didn't show up but I would say you know give them give the guy the money and the creative control because right now you're gonna need him more than ever you're gonna need to make the show more fun not a lot of people are over there excited at the prospect of watching Butch or Happy Corbin like so stupid and like Kofi Kingston he's like kind of regulated as a mid card now even though he was a main event champion so stupid you know that's what the WWE right now they're really suffering and hopefully they do good because you know a lot of people are fans of WWE I like WWE but just the next guy but at the same time when they put shitty products like no it makes people go to another place now I'm a man who likes you know good stuff and doesn't matter where it's from you know I remember I used to watch Impact more than the WWE before back in 2008 2009 so you know that's on the WWE AEW is gonna do okay they still have some stars left 
not that much but they still have you know warlord on moxie as i said so that's basically my case that's my input on what's happening in the wrestling world today remember to like comment subscribe also join my twitter like go over there and follow me because like here's the here's a little rant i'm in twitter and the only people that are following me are like porn star or only fan bots like i don't even know if they're real and if they are why are you following me like i like one girl with big tits and suddenly that's what i get you know i'm suffering from success see ya